So we've all heard this before, right? You just need a little pop of color. Every outfit needs pop of color. Do this and add a little pop of color to your wardrobe. Pop of color, color pop. Guys, <laughs> let's talk about this. What the heck is a pop of color? Why is it a good thing? Why should we even pay attention? And how can we do this correctly? Stick around because I got all the pops coming right up. All right, I've got a fun one lined up for you guys today, but first, welcome to my channel, and as always, I'm glad that you're here. So if you are new here, once again, welcome. I'm John, and I'm the founder of 40overfashion.com. I've been creating content that's been helping men look better, feel better, and have more confidence since 2014. So if you would like to see more videos surrounding men's lifestyle topics for grown-ups, please consider subscribing, because the entire reason this channel exists is to prove that it's never too late and you're never too old to make a change in your life or start something new. All right, so right off the top, a pop of color is something that you're wearing that's in colorful contrast to an otherwise neutral wardrobe palette. Say for example, you're wearing all gray. A red watch strap would be a pop of color. Also orange socks would be a pop of color. So today guys, I wanna offer six different ways you can incorporate pops of color into your wardrobe that'll still remain stylish and masculine, but also won't come off as too over the top. Okay, before I get into my list, guys, let's take a quick look at the color wheel and we'll talk about the three basic rules that you should know. First, we have complementary colors. Now, as you can see, these colors live opposite from each other on the color wheel and they will always complement each other. Next, we have analogous colors. Now, these colors are similar to each other because as you can see, they pretty much live right next to each other on the color wheel and they will look great together. Next, we have triadic colors. So these colors are spaced evenly apart in sort of a triangle configuration. Now these colors do complement each other, but it can be a little bold at times. Guys, but think about it. Would you ever consider mixing purple, orange, and green together in the same outfit? Personally, without the color wheel, I might not think this would work, but it totally does. Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to Canva that has an interactive color wheel. It's pretty cool. You can click and drag around to specific colors and it will show you the complementing colors. You can also specify if you want complementary, analogous, or triadic colors. It's actually pretty darn cool, so go check it out and save that page somewhere. Now, keep in mind, this is not something that you necessarily need to know, but it does really help when you're trying to put things together. Okay, now that we've got that sorted out, the first thing on my list when trying to add a pop of color, especially since it's currently summertime here in the US, is with your shoes. Now, I usually wear blue or white sneakers like all the time, but I recently picked up these burnt red sneakers from Lacoste and I really like them. It's more of a muted color and it's not super bright red, which is nice because it's not crazy bold, but it still adds enough color and pop to be a little bit different and also get noticed. Guys, feel free to play around with some different color shoes than what you normally are used to wearing, especially if you like wearing drivers in the summer, try burgundy, green, or even orange. The next way I like to add pops of color is with your belts. Now, you've probably heard me talk about Anson belt before because they are basically the only belt that's in my closet right now. These guys are a family owned business and I've met David the owner several times now. He's a great guy. Now I'm not sure if they're still doing it or not, but David was running a free belt Friday giveaway on their Instagram page. So go give them a follow. Now they are sponsoring today's video, but like I said, David is a great guy and I'm very happy to help support them. What makes the belt so cool are the micro adjustments on the backside. Now, I don't know about you, but at least for me anyway, the whole placements with traditional belts never seem to line up with where I want them to be. It's either too loose or too tight. Also, depending on any slight weight fluctuations that may occur, I want something that I can adjust for a more custom fit. So Anson does use this track system on the back side of the belt that gives you these micro adjustments every quarter inch. Check this out. Not only that, but all the belts come in a size 50 inch waist. So as long as you're a 50 inch waist or smaller, you just cut this end off to fit your waist size. Then you just attach the buckle. Now that's the other really beautiful thing is that you can select the straps and the buckles that you want and then mix and match between your selections. They've got canvas, leather, 
nylon, cloth, and even vegan strap options that you can choose from. And they also have two different width options as well. If you have never tried them, you have got to check them out. Hit the link down in the description to get the box set of three straps and two buckles or three buckles and two straps. That's like six belt combinations for under a hundred bucks. You can barely even buy one belt for that. Or guys, you can just buy the one belt combo of your choice. You are absolutely gonna love these belts. Next on my list is to go with a multicolor pattern or like a floral print shirt. Now clothing manufacturers usually get it right when it comes to the color wheel, so it's usually a pretty easy grab. Now I did talk about pattern shirts in a video that I made just a few weeks ago. And so this is a great way to add pops and splashes of color to your wardrobe. And I will say, just like I mentioned in my other video, that if you do go with a bright floral print shirt, keep the rest of what you're wearing relatively neutral and subdued. The colorful shirt needs to do the talking and not clash with anything else you're wearing. The next item on my list of color pop pieces are socks. Now, in the last few years, socks have kind of gotten a little crazy. And there was a trend a few years back that you would wear super bold and loud socks. But in my opinion, it was just a little too much. Now, I'm okay with a light pattern, but you can absolutely add pops of color with your socks. The traditional approach with conservative business attire is to wear socks that are a pretty close match to your trousers. However, if you're not trying to be all buttoned up, you can match your socks to say your pocket square, your tie clip, or your watch strap. Just about anything goes with socks, but I would still suggest following the color wheel. Speaking of pocket squares, this is an excellent way to add some pops of color. Okay, though, quick tip on pocket squares. Do not buy those exactly matching tie and pocket square sets. Matching your tie and pocket square exactly, meaning the same fabric color and pattern, is something that you should avoid. Instead, use the color wheel and find a pocket square that complements the rest of what you're wearing. And if you can be just a little creative, make the pocket square the boldest complementing color. That way the pocket square stands out as that pop of color you intended it to be. Nice, right? Next up are your accessories. Now, just a minute ago, I mentioned a tie clip and a watch strap. So these are two small but effective and creative ways to add little subtle pops of color to your wardrobe. Also guys, if you carry a computer bag or a messenger bag, Maybe think about having one or two in a different color other than the traditional black or brown. All right, gentlemen, please go check out Anson Belt at that link I left for you down below in the video description. And if you're a subscriber, I'll see you in a few days for a brand new video. But until then, live well, stay healthy, and I do hope to see you soon.